Hi, I'm Clinton and this is Photoshop Simplified. Today I'm going to talk about how to decide what resolution your photograph should be when you're trying to email it or print it. This seems like it should be easy, but there is a lot of confusion over just exactly what resolution is and when it's important. Have you ever received a photograph from someone and it was so large it wouldn't fit on your screen? They swear they set the resolution at 72 ppi, but it didn't seem to help. Let's get into why changing the resolution didn't change the overall size of their photo. First, resolution is the number of pixels in an inch, or centimeter if you're on the metric system. And if you know what your output destination is, you can decide if it's important to you or not. If you're emailing a photo or putting it on a blog or website, you can ignore the resolution completely and, pay, and only pay attention to the pixel dimensions. If you're going to print the photo, then resolution is very important. Combined with pixel dimension, it will tell you if you have enough uh, file to print successfully. Alrighty, so let's see it in action. Here's a file I created. And bam. Each square you see is one pixel in size. So what we are seeing in the image size dialog is our height is 72 pixels and our width is 72 pixels. I have the resolution set at, well, let's change the resolution to that at 72 pixels per inch which makes the document size 1 inch by 1 inch. Let's change the res resolution back to 150 we just saw a second ago. See the document dimensions change but since we kept the pixel dimensions the same the overall look of it stays the same. Where we will see a difference is if we tried to print this it would be less than half an inch by a half an inch square. Alright so let's close that and Here's a photograph I want to email to a client. And its dimensions are 2912 by 4368 pixels. And it has a resolution of 240 pixels per inch. My only intention is to email it to a client for, for approval, so I need to make the longest, take the longest side and make it shorter. Change its pixel dimensions. And the fact that it has a resolution of 240 ppi is completely irrelevant to what we're doing. So, what is a good size for emailing? If you're sending it to a lot of people, you will want to keep the pixel dimensions under 500 pixels on its longest side. This will enable anyone to see it, and if you know that, but if you know they have a fairly large monitor, then 700 pixels on its longest side will work. For what I am doing, she only needs to see it big enough so she can see the expression on her and her groom's face, so I can make it just big enough to fit on the screen, so I'm going to make it 500 pixels high. So, let's grab our crop tool, and we're going to go up here and change this to 500 pixels, and it's our height, which is our longest side. If this was a horizontal image, we would change the width. Now we'll select the entire image and hit return. Now let's make this 100% so we can see it, and let's go up here, open image size, and see what we've done. Um, all right, now this file is 500 by 333 um, pixels on its length, so that'd be 330 pixels over here and 500 pixels over here. But as you can see, the resolution is still 240 pixels per inch. But as we all can tell, I mean, this is at 100%, this file would be very easy to see on just about anybody's computer. Um, but if it makes you feel better, you can change this to 72 pixels per inch. You just got to make sure that your resample image is not selected because if you do and you change it, well, let's go, let's do a little reset real quick and click resample image and change it to 72. See, you notice our width and our height get smaller. So um, be very careful that you don't have resample image selected otherwise it's just going to change the overall look of your photograph so now let's take a look and see um, when resolution does matter where you really really have to pay attention alrighty so now if you're printing a photograph then you really want to pay attention to your resolution this photograph, as it is, like we saw before, is this size. 
and at 240 pixels per inch we can print a respectable 12 inches by 18 inches. Um, so <clears throat> here's where resolution really starts to matter. Now let's talk about this 240 for a second. Most professional cameras produce files that already have the native resolution of the camera set at 240 ppi. Many of your point and shoot digital cameras have the native resolution set at 72 ppi. But don't be worried by this. You know, you open it up and it goes 72 ppi. Um, when you look at your Im yours and your image dialog box, image size dialog box, it probably has a document size at something like 40 by 60, like this. So you would unselect, if it's already selected, resample image and just make your resolution number bigger. And so now let's just change this one to 300. This is what my printer likes. Um, so since we don't have the resample image selected, our pixel dimensions stay the same. And so if we were to send this to the printer and let Photoshop control how the output is handled, it's going to print a phot photograph that is the size you see here. If it were 72 pixels per inch, it would try to print a photo that was over 40 by 60 and it would be totally pixelated. So what is resolution doing here? It is the number you, you use to tell your printer how to reproduce a photograph on paper. Really, that's it. If you're just going to display your photo on a screen, you can rely on pixel dimensions to make your decision. So, in summary, if you're emailing a photograph and it is only going to be seen on a computer screen, you're usually good cropping your photograph to a thousand pixels or less on its longest side and you just ignore completely the resolution. This will make your file size smaller and it make it easier and it will make it easier for the recipient to see it on their computer screen. If you're printing the photo, then set your resolution to the optimum setting for high quality printing. Like I said before, my printer likes photos to be around 300 ppi, but you can usually get away with 240 ppi or above. But test it and see and just ch um, compare your your product, see which one you like best. So that's it, I'm Clinton, and this is Photoshop Simplified.